questions every day right here at homeshowradio.com. And Mickey has one about garage flooring. Yeah, he has a question, Tom, specifically about the epoxy treatments that you put on the garage floor. And Mickey writes, I'm looking to do my garage floors myself, and I see these kits everywhere, all kinds of brands and everything else. Is there a brand of epoxy coating that is better than the rest? Are they all about the same? Tom, Mickey wants to know, if you were doing your garage, and I know you have, have what, many times. what brand would you use on your garage floor? You hear the word epoxy misused all the time. You can go to some of the box stores, as we call them, and go to aisle nine, and they'll have homeowner epoxy paints. Some are water-based. Most of the paints in those stores are going to be water-based. That's not the type of product you would use on your floor, in your garage, by any means. It'll come right off if you run your hot car tires right on top of it. It'll just pull it up. So if you're really going to do it right and do a garage well, you're going to use a commercial brand. The one I've always used and works really well, and it's the same kind of paint that you would use in a warehouse where forklifts are running around and they're painting all the yellow lines and, you know, the forklift stays in the line and the guys are working and Tom's got pallets little, going up and down. Tom's and, got a little battery-powered <laughs> forklift he drives around, yeah. right? <laughs> no, but I do put my cars and stuff on okay. it and spill everything you can on it, too. Is, is Pittsburgh makes a two-part commercial epoxy paint which is a solvent-based paint. And here's how you, you prep the floor and you put it down. First, you wash the floor with muriatic acid and water. That's one part acid to three parts water for about 100 to 150 square feet of area. You literally just pour the bucket on the floor. Don't splash yourself, be careful. And use a push broom and just push it around and just acid etch the whole floor, rinse it real good with water and let it dry well overnight. Then you come back with a A and B mixed equally and you thin it 20% with an epoxy thinner. It's the same thing that you would use for cleanup and stuff, so you're gonna need some anyway. So your first coat goes down 20% thinned, you let it sit overnight and dry real well. Then you go back with a full strength A and B the next day, and try to give it about a week before you drive your car on it. You can give it just a few days so you can put your stuff back in the garage, but give it about a week before you put your car, especially in the summertime when the tires are hot on that epoxy paint. It'll hold up well for you. And if you, if you want to save yourself the trouble of shopping around for that stuff, if you call Concepts in Concrete, one of our sponsors, <laughs> there you go. they will sell you the stuff. Oh, really? The same stuff they use. Oh, well, they, they, might, will. And they might not use Pittsburgh, but I'll tell you what, they know what they're doing. Yeah, so, so that's another option for you if you're uh, looking for Some people stuff. have a hard time getting commercial products now because some companies don't want to sell it to you. You might run into that. Hopefully you won't. But if not... Call Steve. That's call he'll, Steve. He'll yeah. be out. All right. Do you have a question? Happy to help you out. Click on the Ask Tom button. Send it our way. We'll answer it here on the website or on Sunday morning on Early Edition. Either way, you can always get your questions answered with Tom every Saturday and Sunday on Sports Radio 610.